All right, all right, welcome. It is time to do another video a bit out of order. But it's it's actually a first play. Let me let me bit out of order. But hey, I That is, that sounds like I'll talk about this game in a bit. But yeah, I just picked up two games on Steam. I got a key for a game. It's actually a good game for once. So since that person publishes a lot of YouTube content, I like and find super helpful in my preservation work. And since they gave me a game that wasn't garbage, Oh, let's see. Yeah, I probably should have loaded this first to see what kind of stuff is going on. But hey, there's proper volume sliders that are actually split up. That scale properly. And that are set on defaults that work for somebody that has a pair of headphones on. And perfect, perfect. But yeah, anyway... These are two games by Zaxter99. One has maybe maybe multiplayer eventually. We'll get into that later. And then the other one has two-player remote play. So even though I'd usually not count one of those games as multiplayer, hey, it's it has multiplayer in the menu. I covered something that has had just a leaderboard yesterday. Why not? At least I can get behind the person making it, unlike a lot of the stuff that has stumbled into my Steam account. So, yeah. Anyway, let's switch over. Actually, no, we need to go to the Steam page first. Okay, no, I don't need to launch. And yeah, the, these games. If I discover these are asset, just purely asset flip games, then I'm going to I'm not going to refund them because there's quality YouTube content. But at the same time, if the games are bad, I will give them the give you the proper recommendation. I won't let my views about other projects of this person skew. My view of their projects in a different space. So yeah, let's see. Go, oh, 2,241 games. Probably 400 are actually worth anything and probably a good 400 of them aren't even playable anymore. So here we go. We have Nurm the Worm. Norman Worm was developed from the heart with the goal of offering a brand new, super fun to play snake game with a unique twist and new turns. Norman presents challenging goals, an adorable personality, and 50 grueling levels to progress through. Norm just wants to escape. Can you help him? Three user reviews by Zaxter Games, released October 23rd of 2020. So what do we have here? Oh, September 29th, we have a, an update. New introduction voice jokes from Nerm. Got a nice little worm guy. Looks like looks like custom artwork. I haven't seen this artwork anywhere. It's quite charming looking. And also, even if this title screen, the title screen we're about to see, is from a template, there's enough original content on top of that to make it worthwhile. Escaped all 50 levels, 8%. Okay, good, these are a bit repetitive as far as achievements go, but they're appropriate. 
We also have a global leaderboard. Zaxter99 is third place in his own game's leaderboard. That That is a good sign there when you have something that... A game like this where the developer is actually on the leaderboard, which means they actually played their game. We also have Zaxter Games on there. 29 entities. We just need to beat 1,987. But hey, let's get the Logitech F310 gamepad out. Not a terribly good gamepad. But it's a pretty standard one nonetheless. I was actually told some. I had issues with these game pads. Apparently, you don't get the full range of motion with the Logitech pads unless you take a Dremel tool to the the hole that the analog sticks are in. I'm actually curious to take one of my controllers and see if that helps. But yeah, we have some reviews. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven reviews, all of them positive. And yeah, let's go and switch over to the game. Is this game going to give me issues trying to record it? Moonlight Princess, I could not get to record under any. Wait a second. That is not what we want. Oops. Wrong thing altogether. It is kind of fitting though. The developer of this game is the same person who gave me a key for that game, so. There we go, now this is the proper game. Okay, mouse control. Doesn't work with the game pad. Okay, look for Frantic Online Co-op DLC Nurm plus Norma. Norma will see Norma join him once Nurm hits 50 plus positive Steam reviews. So yeah, that's that's one way to... If you have a game where you have a good idea, but you're limited on resources, you could always use some sort of metric of interest or financial viability of the project before you promise, oh, this will have multiplayer or this will have this or that. Okay, let's go to the game. Okay, gamepad does not appear to be supported. Oh. Oh shit. That was I'm so busy looking for those apples that It's fine. Plus one. Oh, I caught it. Do I not want to get the red ones? Apparently not. Ah, shit. Okay. 
Here's how this plays with the mouse. We're racking up the achievements. Ah, oh, shit. Lost streak. Yeah, I'm not doing so well at all. Do I get a life on zero? Okay, the lives menu actually tells you how many lives you have left. Oh yeah, I'm not last place. So to get into the top 20, I need 30,000. We're going to see how this works with the mouse. Mouse control, F5. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's try to go for the... <laughs> that was not good at all. Here, let's... We're gonna go back to the menu, turn it back to keyboard. Oh yeah. Call it when worms take over the whole world. Global warming. <laughs> oh yeah. Looks like it does. It looks like it def goes back to defaults in between games. Oh, shit.
How do I need, do I need to get a new key? The key drops. Not doing so well at this snake game. Why am I going so slow? I see. Ah, shit. So even though I'm not doing that well at this game, it actually works very well as a, for a snake game. I think... I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll split, I should split the two games I got today, I bought from him today, into separate videos, and I should compare this with other snake games in the Steam library.
I just had this achievement stuff pop up over the apples. There we go, it's starting to get starting to get my snake playing skill back. <laughs> and then I run into the wall. It's alright. You have the high score in the app as well as on the Steam for the leaderboard. It reflects it in the app. Nice touch. So yeah, we're going to get out of this game. What else do we have? Let's go back over to Steam. Let's hop back on Snakeroni. What does a competition have? Is snake game an actual category? I don't think it is. Look under snake. Uh, tank game, tank force, tank battle, tank game, zoo war, tank. That's a lot of tank games. Hey, let's host. We want snake games. Star Wars Droid Repair Bay. Oh, those are two Star Wars games on PC I've never played. I didn't even know I had them. Gosh, I didn't know I had most of these, so... Snake. There we go. Snake Aroni. What are the achievements on here? Oh, yeah, I did this in the DOS versus Steam series. What are the achievements for this? Lock 20 hats. Eat to 1,000 length. Spend 5 minutes in menus. Okay, store page. Couch car for couch multiplayer. How does it compare? Snake Adventure, Snake Fight, Snake Classic. Oh yeah, this is a good snake game. Stats and achievements. Why aren't these posting to the Steam? Seems like the achievements aren't posting. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I remember what was unique about this one. Classic snake. Yeah, I, I remember this game. Use it as a comparison point. It's disappointing that the achievements just don't work. Oh, wait. They did update. Then we have, oh yeah, one I need to get off the wish list. Where is my wish list? Snout. doesn't cover up that's kind of
Game over already. I see, you don't want to hit those blocks. Oh, this is a... Yeah, this one's gonna take a bit of, it's definitely a unique take on the snake formula. I am awful at it. Let's see, what, what are we supposed to do? I'm going to revisit this game after I look more into it. There appears to be only certain... You need to collect the coins, and there appears to be only certain blocks or something I need to be doing. Yeah, I'll look into it a bit more later on. But yeah, we'll go ahead and bring up the scoring sheet. Where did I put snake Aroni? Did I score snake -aroni? Did I even score the game? Oh, yeah, it's over here. A 3.5 out of 5, which is a recommend. So where do we put Nurm the Worm? I'm not gonna put it on the Steam Auto list yet because it doesn't have multiplayer yet, but I'll put it under the PC games. It's a unique game, well optimized, unique graphics. It could use a bit of work. Sound and music's great. Definitely makes, it makes use of minimal resources in a great way. Pretty good controls, fun gameplay. It's a unique take on the snake formula. There is a lot of potential with it. This if it takes off a bit more. You have multiplayer customer service is great. Not really a whole lot of flaws with it. When I do a written review, I'll go into more, take a second look at it, go into more detail. Altogether, it's 4.1 out of 5. Definitely recommend the game based on first impressions. When I do, a, I'll do a full written review later on this month. To give some to do some more testing of it. But yeah, initial 
initial experience was quite positive. Takes the original Snake game, updates it a bit for a modern platform. Not really any issues with it either. Now the 4.1 games will put it below Trove, King of Crabs, and Ryzen. It's above Star Wars Galaxies. That's more my wife not finding that game terribly fun than personal opinion, but hey, it's not a bad place on the list to be. Especially considering all these games that are not recommends. But it's a solid take on Snake. Definitely check it out. It's a couple dollars. Not really anything wrong with it. Controls are a bit fast, but there's also the brake feature, so don't take me running around like a crazy person in the maze and running into stuff. As any is a negative part for the controls. But yeah, definitely check it out. Not a bad game at all. And I'm excited to check out the next game to list, which does have multiplayer. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, we will take a look at Snout once I look into the rules and how the game works. And we'll compare all three in a later video. Have a great day.